Novak Djokovic versus Kasper Ruud is the second semi-final for the Monte Carlo Masters for 2024. And both guys have had tough matches to get to this stage. Ruud entered the tournament as the number eight seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Tabillo, but this is no problem getting through in straights. 6-2, 6-4. In the third round, he'd take on Hercatch, number 10 seed. And after a close first set, he'd get through in straights. 6-4, 6-2 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Ruud would take on Umber, the number 14 seed, who had the benefit of avoiding Alcaraz, who pulled out of the tournament early. And this was a battle, with Ruud winning the first set and Umber winning the second. Eventually, Ruud running away with the third. 6-3, 4-6, 6-1 to advance to the semifinals. Djokovic entered the tournament as the number one seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Sefulin, because there's no problem getting to him in straights. 6-1, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on Musetti, the man that had beat him last year in Monte Carlo. And after a close first set, Djokovic would get through in straights, 7-5, 6-3, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Djokovic would take on Diminor, the number 11 seed, who'd beaten him earlier in the year in Australia. And after a close first set, Djokovic would fight through to win, 7-5, 6-4, to advance to the semifinals. This were played five times before, with Djokovic winning every match they've played, including last time they played being the French Open final, where Djokovic won a close three sets. So, Rude has been able to push Djokovic, but unfortunately, in all their matches, he was unable to win a set against Djokovic. If Rude's going to win this one, he needs to use that forehand. It would work so well against Umber, and he just was ripping it, almost like Rafa Nadal, but right-handed. So really keen to see him do the forehand and use that forehand against Djokovic, especially if Djokovic is a little bit off. Djokovic is going to win this one. He needs to figure out why he is getting fatigued and why he is looking so tired. First it was Musetti, and then he looked like he was going to pass out against Diminor. He looks so bad, and he can't afford to do that against Rude because Rude's forehand has been so lethal this week. Really fun matchup and really interesting this time around. I know it's 5-0 to Djokovic, but man, Rude has been really impressive this week on the clay, but I have to go with Djokovic. The 5-0 is still too much for me to go against, and also, Rude hasn't won a set against Djokovic. I think he gets a set this time, but Djokovic in three sets makes the final. Let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.